Greetings and good time zone. I hope people are doing well today. We're going to be playing more on Knock on the Coffin Lid because I've been enjoying it. Also, hi FLC, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, oh, there we go. I also noticed that this is now unlocked. Challenges New Game. Elevation Tree. Oh, coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Okay. So what exactly does this do? I don't have these two. <laughs> Healing in camp restores 100% health. Exhaustion. Healing between locations is reduced by 50%. Oh. Do I unlock this permanently for him? But the challenge is this. I'm just going to go back to the story for now. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, we did this yesterday. You need to prepare for it well. So we found out that the Ica prevents her from one-shotting us. Uh, change class and difficulty. I'm only changing class, not difficulty, because we unlocked Gold Digger. So what was this? At the start of the battle, gain five armor, so I need to get used to not having that. If no hit point damage was taken in the previous turn, gain two strength at the start of turn. I didn't even notice that. Oh, they also have different things. Percival's childhood was relatively nice, although not carefree. He was taken from a big and poor family to the Lord's Palace in the Northern Gate. And since then, he has never needed material goods again. He was brought up in the finest traditions of, the, of an ancient noble family. Harsh training and trying ordeals hardened his body and spirit. Gold digger. What's the other one? Knight. So I need to get this to level three. And then veteran. wonder when you unlock the next characters. Because it looks like they're going to be maybe selected here. Maybe up to five of them? Memories of his half-starved childhood and the desperate need that his family was constantly experiencing remain in Percival's head. He knows the value of money and never turns down an opportunity which he can use prudently for his own benefit. But there are two sides to every coin. Those people who've never wanted for anything and don't treat money seriously are well protected from avarice and greed. But Percival doesn't have such protection. Okay. What? That's kind of funny. 
Enemies deal double damage. Instead of taking damage from enemy attacks, lose gold. That seems fun. Increase maximum health by 20. Greed becomes a curse, not a status card. Does that mean I can get rid of it? No, because... Gain extra 50 gold per battle. Rates of wallet strike and golden shield depend on your gold amount. Okay. At the start of the battle, for every 100 coins, add a greed card to the draw pile. Okay. Well, we're going this, we're going to stay hardcore. We're not doing terrible. Well, at least you've found a way to deflect the deadly touch. Oh, we've read this before. Never mind. Next. Are there any other ways to deflect the deadly touch? Let's think about it. Oh, can we just skip to these? Hi, Shiffy. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. And spin! Spin! <laughs> uh, the Rotten Bog is the Might Cult's abode, and the cultists have certain peculiarity. They don't die. I'm more than sure you'll find a way to deflect the deadly touch there. Okay. The Northern Gate. The demonic forces could save you from the deadly touch, but which of the demons would help you? And what would they ask in return? Are they not siding with Sigismund and Milenis? Loyalty and unity are not the hallmarks of the demons. In other words, you suggest that I look in the Northern Gate. Yes. <laughs> Doing alright, just really tired and got a headache after being out for four hours yesterday. Oh, well, I hope the headache subsides. I'm feeling okay, just too warm. <laughs> That's why you might be able to hear traffic outside of my window. Because <laughs> I need it open. I wonder if you can skip these. The Crimson Steps. Frankly, I wouldn't look for solutions in the Crimson Steps, but that doesn't mean there's not one there. And we rise from the dead again. I've been thinking about this, Melenis. You said she was Sigismund's secret advisor, but I've never seen or heard of her. Do you not know the meaning of the word secret? Few people knew about her existence before Ingvar's death. But he was my friend. I thought that... That he was letting you in on his plans. Haven't you found out otherwise yet? Believe me, it's far from the case. Even Bjorn knew more than you. Bjorn? That deranged lichen? I don't understand at all why Ingvar drew him near to himself. A lichen? I think that's a, one of the playable characters. It would be better to ask them about this, but alas, they're both dead already, unfortunately. It's cool enough for you to be partially under the covers now. It's so cozy and much nicer than Sunday Monday. Yeah, it is a little bit cooler, but still, it's mostly the, the sleeping thing. Okay, defeat Milenis. To find different ways to defeat Milenis, one must travel unexplored routes. That's what I plan to do. Explore the steps. Explore the northern gate. Ooh. In the Rotten Bog, you can drink the Might Ico that can resurrect you, but only once. You need to try not to die before meeting Milanis. Yeah, so on my first run, I inex 
Well, I accidentally figured out how to defeat her first thing. Oh, but these are now unknown events again. Oh, that's kind of disconcerting that they're now unknown events. I was hoping they would remain similar. Thing is, we need to go... We need to go here next. Bandit camp. Oh, wait. Dying bandit. Oh, no, I went this way, didn't I? Father and son. It is keeping them. Ooh, yay. I really wish it would... If it was me, I would make these a slightly different colour than the rest. So you can, at a glance, know which routes you've been down before. But I think I want to see what's over here. But yeah, you need to do a, f a bunch of runs by the looks of it. Because last time I went this route. I think, yeah. So I want to head down here. So I want to go this route. Maybe. I could go this way. Because I want to get all of the unknown events. As much as I can. Good luck with the nap. Thank you for the look. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, so let's go this way. A battle. I'll smash your skull. <laughs> Dusty sack. Change the target's intent to skipping turn. Lose 300 coins. No, thank you. Bar of gold at zero energy, restore all energy. Lose 30 gold and draw one per energy restored. Jesus. That's rather fun. You can just pay to have another go, essentially. So we got double blow, which is the same as before. And everything else. What other cards do we have? Wallet strike. Lose 20% of your gold to deal the same amount of damage. That <laughs> could get... That could get stupid. And lose 20% of your gold to gain the same amount of block as gold and shield. Okay. And then the greed. Lose 20 gold upon playing, but it burns the card. Okay. Gain six block and five gold. Oh, you have fury, don't you? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. do this. Hmm. And it's like, I could pay for more. <laughs> but all I have is lunch, and then this won't do anything. So, end turn. You're dealing damage and gaining block. Well, I'm going to guard. Oh, I messed that up. I can't play this because then he'll deal double damage. I don't want to play green. I'm just going to end the turn. I should have attacked, defended, attacked in that order. Although, like this time, it's not a problem. I can do it in the same order. I think. Because I think he loses Fury. 
I honestly should test that. Yeah, he loses it. Look at all this money I'm making. <laughs> Make him barely break through his block right now. <laughs> hey, I've made 40 gold off this fight so far. It's a lot of strength. I think he just hit rage mode. Oh, I did that the wrong way. There's 20. 29 gold. I think I have to go for it. Just to kill him. Then we got 66 back. Card trick. Draw a random skill. It becomes ethereal and has to be burned. Okay. Deal 6 damage per attack played this turn. Okay. And flourish again. Upgrade to oh zero. Okay. Finishing move deals more damage. Flourish deals more damage and marks. I think I take flourish because right now I'm missing a lot of damage. The dwarves attacked the frontier. Well, it's no wonder. They've always considered that the land belonged to them and dreamed of purifying it of the elves. Only Lord Ingvar managed to restrain their aggression. Ingvar tried to maintain peace, but alas, he was poisoned. And his younger brother and heir, Sigismund, has done nothing to prevent the bloodshed. Maybe because he wanted to rule? <laughs> uh, I was going this way to get these two unknown events. To battle! This one could hurt. At least now I don't have to worry about them. About me doubling up on the things. And causing fury. Arr Although that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt quite a lot, actually. the power of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drain strength, gain two balm, teal, steal two strength from the target. That could be good. Four balm. Cleave, deal eight damage to all enemies, our Lord and Savior. 
and then growing threat deal five damage add a copy to the discard okay so you just inflate your deck with free cost basically a shiv from slay the spire i think i'm gonna go with drain strength because the bomb might become very useful Okay, it's another fight. Let's go. Biggie! We can drain strength from it immediately. What do you have? When losing health, gain strength. Of course. And it's it's all took it out. Turns around for a second attack, okay. Uh you get burn. You did, you are a burn. Okay. I guess I just hit it. Hit it. I can kill it. Not a chance. And then with full health. Nice. Drain the juices. Deal six damage. Restore ten health. Okay. Advance. If enemy intends to attack, gain two strength. Okay. Exterminate. Deal 9 damage. If the, ta if the enemy is exposed, deal the same damage once again. Twice again. Okay. Well, I do have Flourish. You know what? Let's go for Exterminate. And now we have Unknown Events. War is a filthy affair, with corpses piling up and marauders descending like vultures, rifling through the dead and preying on the living. I came across one such piece of scum along my way. He lacked the capacity to even be embarrassed. On the contrary, he beckoned me over and asked me to help him pull the boots off a corpse. Hmm. Attack. Let's be good. I decided to do something more habitual for me. To kill him and steal his loot. <laughs> yeah. Looting is an acquired taste. Damn right. <laughs> Let's hope this guy is not really strong. I'll do it. What? <laughs> The number of attacks depends on gold. On my gold? <laughs> hey, we're draining your strength, buddy. So I'm wondering if it's 250. He's dealing 40 damage. Oh. Hmm. I want to test this for future reference, so I'm going to lose 44 gold. Do I want to? I'm going to take 28 damage. 
But I'm gonna heal two at least. Ah, oh, screw it. Attack me. Now he's blocking. Okay. Terminate. 16 times 2. Nice casual 32 damage. I probably could have killed him with wallet strike. Time for your escape. No, 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 no. You're not running. Can I even stop you, though, is the question. We do 10. What's that? Uh, 17, uh, 14, so 24. So I need to do another 14 damage. strike I lose I've lost so much gold with that but I got 102 back so we're pretty much where we started okay chaos a random card in hand costs zero until the end of battle okay slash and dash gain two armor deal 10 damage okay when drawing a curse or status, draw one. Ooh. I'm taking adaptation. I'll draw two. Because I'm going to get a lot of greed. Oh, God. Golden armor. Enemies deal. Oh, not this thing. No. I can't wear this. Gold is not the best material for armor. This armor is almost useless. But not for a gold digger. I'm taking it probably to sell. <laughs> no, I do not want to equip it. The Marauder's Blade, however. At the end of the battle, receive an extra item as a reward. More loot? Hell yeah! And I gain pickpocket. I lose the... Double double blows. That's ten damage. This is nine damage, but I gain nine gold, so I'll take it. And then we're gonna go across here. Could go this way, but then that's two campfires in a row, more or less. Hi, Chabs. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, let's go to this one. <laughs> okay. A loony troll decided to reconcile the elves with the dwarves, but it didn't look as cute as it sounds. It is pointless to rationalize the actions of a not so rational creature. Apparently, tame trolls tend to copy the behavior of their owners in a very extravagant way. <laughs> Jesus. I'm doing okay. Uh, just a little bit warm because of the weather. But that's usual. <laughs> ah! Start battle, I guess. Wait, why is that pushing me to, I think, evil? There will be no peace this way. Souls are the most innocent victims of war. But you hardly think about that when one of these monsters is coming at you. <laughs> we got adaptation already, which is awesome. He's going to deal 12 damage to me. Okay, let's lunge into... Oh, 
I should check what he gets. Too complicated. Increased when playing cards. Reset when playing two cards of the same type in a row. If greater than four, changes intention to dimwit. Oh. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to reset it. Playing two attacks in one turn changes intentions intention to furiousness. Hmm. Let's actually lose 20 gold for this. So now he's a dimwit. Like what? Oh, playing two attacks in one turn. Oh. We've had really hot weather the past month straight. This week it's finally cooled off. Yay! I mean, the weather has technically broken for us. It's just it's still too warm for me who works in a freezer. <laughs> uh, let's do Power of Gold into Flourish, into Exterminate, into Guard to get some gold back. He also has six Balm. A breather never hurt anybody. I will eat you raw. Fury deals double damage. Great! I'm gonna drain your strength! What? Oh, that's adaptation. So because I drew a greed card, I drew another card. He's going to get furious. Oh, too complicated. Dimwit! <laughs> oh, shit. That's a lot of damage. And I have attacks. A whole bunch of attacks. Okay. <laughs> and now he's a dimwit again. But now I can also flourish into exterminate. Into lunge. I could do wallet strike and kill, but I don't want to lose any more money. I'm hemorrhaging up right now. Plus, this is also healing me a little. What was that? Irascibility? Thing to attack. Oh, so he's changed back to it. Gotcha. Yeah, he's gonna get that furious attack. And we win. Oh, an interesting character. You simply killed him and that was that? Well, yes. Um, what was I supposed to do? Hmm. Tried to talk to him for a change? Come on, it's a troll. <laughs> Continue on. Are we just gonna leave them here? <laughs> uh, draw until there are six cards in hand. Comes free. Prestigitation, draw the bottom card from the draw pile. It costs zero for this turn. Okay. Execute. Deal 25 damage. Can only be used on enemies with less than 50% health. And then it becomes free. I have a lot of cards though. 
This might be a time for me to skip. Like this is a lot of damage. But it's when it turns up is the problem as well. I'm gonna skip for once. Okay, Berserk Axe, although we have Pickpocket or the Marauder's Blade, which I like Pickpocket because it gives me more gold. Berserk Axe, upon killing an enemy, deal 20 damage to all enemies. Ox Boots, lose 2 agility if an attack deals more than 20 damage, gain 2 health. I'm use doing a lot of smaller attacks. Boots of Weakness. At the start of the battle, inflict 4 weakness on all enemies. I guess I'll take that and equip them. Troll Ear. Double the efficiency of Balm. Oh, Take. Yeah, the boots sound nice. Basically, they'll hit me for less. Fix of reco recovery, I'll take. Shield of Purification! Because I get an extra reward because of this. At the end of the battle, receive an extra item as a reward. The start of the turn, gain 4 block for each burned card. Sure, I'll take it and equip it. Trolls have never been seen in the frontier. Which wild wind has brought them here? I suspect it has something to do with the dwarves. You're right. The trolls were brought here from Thundering Mountain by the dwarves. They have long used these giant imbeciles as draft animals. But somebody has given them the bad idea to train the trolls to consume elven flesh. Oh, great. So do they want to impart the trolls with refined elven taste? That's one way of putting it. By the way... From a troll's limited perspective, there isn't much difference between elven and human meat. All taste like chicken. That much I figured <laughs> God out. Damn it. Hi Cheeky Moon, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. And yes, oh no, another game. And even more so, oh no, another roguelite deck builder. <laughs> this game's great, and I'm only on my second run. So, the troll. Like, my first run I went down here and it keeps certain things. Like, I think the encounters can be randomized more, but the question mark stuff remains filled in. So there's different routes to go, and you have to figure out what's what and what you can get from what. It's great! Let's open a chest! <laughs> I came, I saw, I took. I don't remember who said that. It was me. <laughs> me, I'm one that said that. Give me more gold. Poisonous armor. Increase maximum health by 10. Gain 5 barbed. When taking damage, inflict 1 poison. Poison's great, because it doesn't work like normal deck builders. Lance. At the start of the turn, draw 2 jabs. Oh, wait, what? You just always get jabs. Oh, no. That's actually really good. I really want to keep pickpocket, but this thing... At the start of the turn, gain 4 block for each burned card. If I'm getting jabs, I'm going to get so much block. And then vampire boots. When dealing health damage, restore 2 health if the target has less than half health. I really like the Marauder's Blade, but this is just too good. Oh. It's two-handed. Never mind. I'm going to take the poisonous armor, I think. Because I already have boots. Tell me, would you like to avenge the death of Ingvar? I don't know. 
I was never fond of Ingvar as a person. His younger brother Sigismund was more agreeable and less arrogant. <laughs> Hi, Puncture. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm your 37th. Yay! <laughs> Random number. I thought he was my friend. Was he really behind my death? I don't know exactly who gave the order to poison the wine, but Sigismund was likely involved in the conspiracy against his brother. Perhaps he even believes that he was the mastermind of the whole plot. Of course, that would be incredibly naive on his part. I am sick and tired of your riddles. What do you mean? What I mean is that obviously Sigismund didn't value your friendship very much. But he is but a pawn in a much larger game. Yay. <laughs> so basically, to get you caught up, Mortis resurrected us from the dead. Basically, we were poisoned by some wine, and I'm guessing other members of our party were as well, but we were the first one to be resurrected, because game mechanics to progress, get better people. Um, but it works as a story beat. And then we're trying to figure out what happened while making our way to the capital? This, these aren't the capital of the main city, anyway. This is area one. There's a second area, which I think this decides it, which way we go, because this took us to the bog, which is why I'm going this way to see what it does. Um, and yeah, I managed to win my first run. But then there's like a secret boss right after the, the main boss that just tries to kill you instantly. But one of my choices, I figured out exactly it's in the bog. Uh, I got something that allowed me to survive it. But then I couldn't heal myself after it. I still couldn't beat the secret boss because you need to prepare, which means I need to go a bunch of different routes to see what I need. So I need to figure out what all these question marks do. But you can only ever go forward. <laughs> I had to face the most dangerous elven weapon. One lichen on the battlefield is worth a whole squad of seasoned warriors. However, very few lichens are able to keep their sanity under the pressure of the werewolf curse. Those wretched lichens that cannot rein in their bestial nature are ostracized or executed in times of peace, and in times of war they are set on the enemies like hounds. You seem quite knowledgeable about the fate of lichens. Bjorn told me a, a little about how the curse has made him, had made him an outcast. He's also a lichen, but he didn't go completely crazy. Only half crazy. That's why he stayed alive. The Druid Council has forbidden him to settle in the Elven lands, but it's still better than dying like a mad dog. Start battle! Oh, okay. He has a lot of health. I love it how I'm actually wearing all the gear. At first, I have, like, no shoes, <laughs> so I'm barefoot. Transforms into a werewolf and gains evasion. Great. He has weakness from my boots. He has strength, and he has balm. Balm's annoying. I'm going to do adaptation. Quick pocket. Give me the money. Uh, he's not attacking, so I'll attack. I'm going to do Power of Gold to get another turn, essentially. Drain Strength is what I want. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do Guard and Guard, because it gets me money. <laughs> now I have two Balm, but this doubles it. And... Yeah, I love this combination of adaptation. When drawing a curse or status card, I draw one. 
basically, I don't think I can show... Oh. At the start of the battle, for every 100 coins, add a greed card to the draw pile. So, I get three of these in my deck because I have 300 gold. I'm going to play it to put it in my burn pile so this shield kicks in more. Now I'm going to pickpocket. I should have flourished first. That was a mistake on my part. I guess I can do it now. I'm going to end turn. Did you decide to have a rest? The power of the moons. On the count of zero, inflict stun and werewolf curse. What? <laughs> also, I got 12 block. <laughs> I don't even need to burn the other cards. Because I want to keep my money. I think. So let's pickpocket into lunge into Guard. I'll play another one. So now I have four burn cards, so this is going to give me 16 block each turn. Here, let's go for 20. <laughs> this might take long enough that I earn my money back. Poison kills slowly, but surely. Yeah, so basically every time he attacks, he's going to get one poison. At the end of the turn, lose one health per poison, and it lasts the whole battle. So it's a flourish. Pickpocket. Lunge. Oh, Werewolf Curse is on him. Okay. So now he's stunned. And I'm getting gaining four health per turn. I could do power of gold while he's exposed. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, exterminate, nice. And then we'll get some money back. At the start of the turn, take damage. Okay. Oh, he's gonna actually hurt me this time. Here, let's do this. A flourish. And to pick pocket. Oh, we turned him back. Aids evasion and unity with nature. Fortunately for him, he's also still exposed, so he's going to take a crap load of damage. We have life here, my plea. What is this? At the start of the turn, restores hit points and gains strength, replaced with stun if damage is received. And he's got three evasion. And I drew nothing to really help. So I'm gonna get money, get money, get money. Oh, he's stunned anyway. And then I'm going to power of gold. Damn it. Oh, no, wait. Two times. This will work. That's so funny. Because I drew a status card. I drew it. Adaptation's great. And he's back to being a werewolf and gained three evasion. 
Oh, that's pretty fun. Morning, Catslock. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, oh, this is rough. I'm going to lose so much gold. Get some back before I do this. Uh, flourish. And then I can kill him. So I'm going to get some money and then I'm going to pickpocket. He tried. And get 110 gold. You thought you read the other day that the Earth's rotation is slowing down. This is fortuitous because there's never enough time in a day. Funnily enough, I always said if there was about 28 hours in a day, I would be able to get enough sleep <laughs> and do everything I want in a day. You good. It was cool enough this morning to put on a sweatshirt for a while. It's the little things. Yay, nice and cool weather. What's that like? <laughs> Actually, I know exactly what that's like, because UK. But still, it has been far too warm for literally everybody. Deal three damage three times to random enemies. Mallet. Mm, no. Can't be discarded upon playing. Deal five damage and gain five block. And it ramps up, but it costs three which I don't like. Deceiver, I do like. Deceiver was amazing, so I'm taking it. Sharp Dagger. At the start of the turn, gain either one evasion or four bleeding. No thanks. Ox Axe, gain ten strength, lose five agility. Trolls Club. When playing two attacks in a row, gain two strength. When playing a skill, the strength bonus is removed. Gain two balm. Ah. And it's two-handed. I might go for the Orcs Axe. I'd lose Pickpocket, though. I'm going to take it, but I'm not going to equip it. Pelt. Gain three Ward. When Ward is triggered, gain Wooden Balm. That's pretty good. The Troll's Ear is great because it doubles the efficiency of Balm, which is regeneration. The UK heat is the worst. Because, yeah, we don't have AC. <laughs> we do not have AC. That's why I have a fan on and my window open <laughs> at the same time. Need air. Uh, so if this triggers, I would need enemies to trigger it. And it's only three balm, essentially, if they manage to trigger it. Which would put me to five balm, essentially. Whereas this, I can trigger getting balm once. And it doubling to four, because I get two balm. So I think I'm going to keep the trolls here. And now I get to upgrade. Speaking of balm, I could turn it into eight. But I really wanted to do adaptation as well. And deceiver. Oof. Like deceiver's gonna be best in the long run, I think. But I'm gonna do drain strength. 
I'm gonna upgrade this even next. Yeah, homes that decide to keep heat in. Yep. Boots of Balance. Draw one from the draw pile and discard a random card each time a card is burned. I don't like that. I'll take it to sell. The elves and the dwarves are at war, but what do we have to do with it? This isn't our war. This isn't my war. My lord did all he could to avert the bloodshed. I know if he was still alive, peace would reign in these lands. Now the Northern Gate is ruled by his younger brother Sigismund, who prefers to stay neutral. The elves view his inaction as a betrayal. Given their losses, one can understand their point. Uh, and in response, they declared war on us? No, they simply banned the humans from the elven lands. And you're violating the ban. In other words, they said, get off our property. Um... Ooh, I can go to this unknown event. I kind of want to do unknown events over combat. Just to see what they do. Oh, dwarves with red eyes. Great. An intimidating party of dwarves rode out toward me on war steeds. Their appearance was vaguely reminiscent of something. Of something I seem to have already seen before. But I couldn't remember what it was or where I saw it. Will you shut up? <laughs> so loud. It kind of... It makes me think of, think of Mongols. Like this. All they need is bows. And I know they're not horses, but I think this is more terrifying. Start battle. And there's an ad break about to start. Unfortunately. Skips a turn, skips a turn, skips a turn. Veteran provoker, veteran warrior, veteran brother in arms. IFLC, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Ductless AC systems are getting much, much cheaper, but still require specialized labor to install it. Which makes the overall cost still stupidly high. Yeah. Oh, they're all dwarves. And I only really have attack cards in my hand. When wounded severely, gain strength. Oh, Christ. You need to die first. But there's an ad break, so we shall wait. That I will have a drink. What, only three sip emotes, FLC? <laughs> They're all animals. <laughs> you only posted the cats. I mean, that's acceptable.
but I'm going to slightly close my window just to mute the sound from outside a little bit. So even I can hear it through my headphones. <laughs> Also, FLC, I've decided to do something in my Minecraft world. I think I'm going to redo the entire ceiling and roof of my pagoda. <laughs> Harry Potter Studios ads making you want to go back. Thankfully, I've, I don't see ads on Twitch. Because Turbo... It's so good. I couldn't live without Turbo on Twitch. Plus it supports the people that I want, that I just randomly drop in on. Okay, so we have a problem in the fact that these are all dwarves, so they all have Berserk. They gain one fury when playing two cards of the same type in a row, once per turn. Doesn't matter for this turn because they're all skipping their turn. But Fury means they deal double damage. What can I do? Over, over. Deals double damage. Which is, um, as you can imagine, not great. Uh, so we're going to flip. Plus, I need to defeat this guy first. Because uh, he also has. When wounded severely, gains strength. But this one. One man army. If the enemy is the last of the squad, his strength is doubled. I do not want that. Not at all. Right, yes. You're all furious. You're gonna lose it for next turn, though. We'll do the power of gold. Oh! Yes! Uh, I'm gonna play greed. So I'll lose another 20 gold, but it means I'll burn the card so this shield can trigger more. So he's gonna hit hard. And he's gonna add a discard, a status card to the discard pile, which is funny if I can get the card that I want. Um, so f this only works if it's two cards of the same type in a row. So like skill cards, status cards, attack cards. So if I want to do this, I go guard into pickpocket. You gain strength into guard. So I've gained 19 gold, so this will uh, this turn will effectively cost me 11 gold. Oh, I played two skills in a row. That was dumb. Uh, I'm going to drain strength, though. Uh, yeah, because he's got seven strength. I'm going to drain this, which will give me four balm, but it's actually eight balm because this doubles the efficiency of it which means i'll get eight health per turn healing i would love to have used deceiver but i really can't oh, so close to killing and we're gonna take 18 24 no 26 damage so i'm gonna take 10 damage and then I'm going to heal eight of it back, so I'll take two damage in total. I'm going to play another Greed. For next turn. Also, they're all going to gain block. Death doesn't teach them oh! I forgot I have barbs! <laughs> he killed himself on me! Oh, now we get adaptation. Thanks. 
Uh, actually. Yeah, let's play it. He's gonna inflict expose, you're gonna gain strength and share it with allies. Fine. I want money. Give me money. <laughs> Well, if I play this, they'll become furious. Screw it. Oh, it didn't draw enough. That kind of sucks. Oh, I'll burn you. Which gives me this, which draws me one, which is awesome. They're already furious, so let's just attack, attack, get some more gold and block. You're gaining taunt, but it's okay, I want to hit you anyway. Okay. Lunge, do that, exterminate, and in turn, he can't deal damage to me, and he takes damage and poison, okay, at the end of turn take two damage, oh that's rude. Uh, I'm gonna make him furious, but he's not attacking, so it doesn't matter. I want money. He's furiously dead now. Give me money! Bandage. Gain three disarmed. Can't play attacks. Okay. For three turns, gain five health, two armor, and burn two status cards at the start of the turn. Okay. Gain one disarmed. Pretty good for everything but the disarm. Because I'm guessing this makes it last three turns. So you can... It's literally just to help you armor up and block. It's kind of cool, but I'm going to skip. Sword of Weakness is also pretty good, but I still want the pickpocketing stuff. Goblin armor. Gain 5 armor, 3 ward. Max health, 20. Ox helm. At the start of the turn, gain 1 strength and lose 1 agility. I don't have a helmet. Start of weakness is pretty damn good. I think I'm going to just take the Ox Helmet and equip it. Dwarven Grog. Attributes. Get 30% better prices for selling gear. Okay. At the start of the battle, gain one armor for 100 gold. What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I need this set bonus. When taking damage without losing health, deal one damage to the attacker per two block. At the end of the enemy's turn, restore hit points at the expense of block. Upon using any potion, gave five strength until the end of the game. I'm sorry? What now? I'm sorry, Trollier, you've been replaced. Um, 
Yeah, that's insane. I'm going to take Deceiver, because it's really, really good. But I'm going to upgrade Deceiver. Elixir of Tirelessness. Cards in hand cause zero until the end of the battle. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm taking it. Leather Shield. Gain five agility. Ooh. The dwarves had strong motives for murdering Ingvar. He was a hindrance to their plans. They have nothing to do with it. Ingvar was poisoned so that Sigismund could ascend to the throne. Mm, you know too much and you talk too little. You should have figured this out a be while patient, ago. Be patient, my friend, be patient. There's a time for everything and we've got plenty of time. I'm not the only one who's got to be intrigued. Okay. Agility. Oh, I wish it showed, but I'm fairly sure it just means you gain more block. Which, if I'm getting armor at the start... If I, yeah, if I got this, the set bonus. Yeah, let's swap you for now. Uh, a campfire. We don't need to heal, so we're going to train. Oh yeah, that's twice again. So effectively three damage. But flurry but expose two is great, and as is draw two cards when you draw a curse or status. I think I need to work on my damage though, so I'm gonna upgrade flourish. Now I know what you meant when you called Sigismund a mere pawn. Melenus is behind him. Oh, you finally figured it out? Yes, I'm afraid so. She indulges his dark nature, and he does whatever she wants. What is she trying to accomplish? If I only knew, but she's up to nothing good, believe me. You can see what she's already accomplished. That should be enough for you. Okay. We're fighting two obelix. <laughs> a couple of dwarves, bosom friends or even brothers, decided to teach me a lesson because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That is, for no particular reason. I was about to have a very dangerous fight. It was clear that they understood each other without words and they had won many victories fighting together two on one. It's punching time. These two may be annoying, but killing them should feel nice. <laughs> when wounded severely gains strength. And then the dwarves, so they've got the berserk thing. You're gaining block and sharing it with allies. You're dealing six. <laughs> I just noticed their names. Philly and Killy. They're spelt differently. But I understand. Gain agility's block per card. Ah! Hi, welcome in, raiders. I'm going to say Steftacular. <laughs> How are you all? <laughs> Hope you had a great stream. You were playing just chatting. Were you playing any other game? 
<laughs> but thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you for bringing your uh, people over here. <laughs> your community, that's the word. Happy to have you. We're playing a really awesome game. I'm only on my second run. But I am loving this game. But hi, I'm Zera. I'm a variety streamer. I tend to stick to like survival crafting, roguelite deck builders, RPGs, somewhat strategy games. You raided in because of the name of the game. The game's amazing. It's a roguelite deck builder with like a looping storyline. So yeah, you have to unlock things. But it's not even just like meta progression. You can unlock different... You don't really unlock them. You understand what different routes through the game do. It's not like procedurally generated, say like Slay the Spire. It's just really good. <laughs> yeah. It... Kinda. You only have one character though. You can get allies. But... It's, it's pretty good. We're playing the second class of this guy, which is called Gold Digger. So it's all about the money. <laughs> and we're just in a boss fight right now. But, like, these two are dwarves, and all dwarves have Berserk. They gain one Fury, which means their damage is doubled for a turn. We're playing two cards of the same type in a row. It only triggers one per, once per turn, thankfully. So if I played a guard and then a guard, they're both skills. That would trigger and he would then deal 12 damage. He would do nothing because he's just blocking. So basically we have to go... Boom. And then I think I want to kill you. Because you might become the more dangerous one. And then we'll do guard. And then we'll Who are you? use the power of gold to essentially get another turn, which unfortunately triggered him because it was a skill card, but eh. And I didn't get very good stuff. I don't need to burn these like I did before because I've got a different shield now you have different relics and some of them have set bonuses like this it shows it doesn't show okay uh so they're all furied up so it doesn't matter i'm not gonna take damage so let's just attack now i could spend 20 percent of my gold to deal 84 damage Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to. But I'm going to leave it. You need to raid and run. That's fine. We all understand. <laughs> oh, you're in Australia. I have a, f a couple of friends in Australia. Streamer friends in Australia now. Like Bloody Drongo being the main one that I watched. But yeah. <laughs> it's kind of late, so... Have a good time walking the dogs and maybe going to sleep if you sleep at normal people times. I don't, so... <laughs> but yeah, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, ooh, adaptation. Yes, hmm. please. And then... Damage. And then I'll use Greed. So Agility's going down? Interesting. I wonder if that's to prevent it from making my armor really busted. <laughs> I spend more money. I just played a skill card though. I'd have to play Greed and then this, so they don't get Fury. Drain Strength! Yes! I want that. But it's also a skill. Let's attack. Then we'll Drain Strength. Oh, it does go to minus! Awesome! <laughs> 
negatives. Gotta love them. That did cost me 50 gold, though. And then he, he gained strength back, but only to deceive her. Okay. Let's do flourish. Into deceiver. Yeah, these guys are gonna hurt. That's what, 18 plus 12, 30 damage? Oof. Do a skill card. This is costing me so much. Oh. I hate that it doesn't shuffle everything. I have to attack and then guard. Do that, which draws me a card that's kind of useless. But also kind of not, because I did not take damage. Oh, and he's now dealing 19 damage instead of the 12 that he was. So we're taking 37 damage, so we're taking 29 damage. Okay. I'll take the damage. This is gonna hurt. But we do deal damage back to them in both poison and barbs. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Um, Flourish is free, so that's awesome. And then we'll have to do guard. And then we'll do pickpocket, which will kill this guy. And then I think I'm going to save my money. And just do lunge, because... He's going to get probably strength, yes. Which is fine, because it means this fury does nothing for him. Oh, and then he's going to block. Ha! Awesome. That's a lot of stuff. Wait, do I have a hand size limit so this didn't trigger? I think that's a hand size limit. Anyway, this is gonna hurt. Nice. Instant karma. Defeat cocky brothers. <laughs> Give me the gold. Ooh. Double current strength overdrive. I'll make it cheaper. Ruse. Swap the effects of strength and agility. And it makes it cheaper. Golden scales. Upon gaining gold, gain one block per each coin gained. <laughs> Wait, what? Upon gaining gold, gain one block per each coin gained and one armor. I could get very out of hand. I'm taking golden scales. <laughs> Amulet of death. Gain one energy upon enemy's death. Each turn gain one energy and draw one extra card. Oh. What? <laughs> that goes in that slot. Troll amulet. Gain one energy, gain five balm. Fluted axe. When dealing damage, additionally inflict one bleeding. Hmm. I really like this one. Upon enemy's death, each turn gain one energy and draw one extra card. So if you kill a minion, every you're getting two energy. 
if I'm reading this right. I'm taking the Amulet of Death. Dwarven Grog or the Horn. Gain one immune when using any consumables. No, I'm keeping the Dwarven Grog. So I want to try and get the set bonus. And then we can upgrade. I mean, I kind of have to do this, don't I? Uh, Cucumber Elixir is great because it's draw two cards of your choice. Elixir of Energy is also great. I'm going to take the Cucumber Elixir because I have an Elixir of Tirelessness. Horned Helmet. Gain two armor and it gives you stun. All enemies. Oh, that's why I was losing agility. The start of turn, gain one strength and lose one agility. <laughs> I guess is really, really handy. But I might change it to keep... Yeah, I'm going to change it. I'm going to equip this. Oh, I managed to slice through the defences of the dwarves and made it to the Crimson Steps. But awaiting me there were the orcs and the goblins. Compared to them, the dwarves are a very hospitable folk. <laughs> Great. First time in this zone. Last time, you said that you'd barely known your parents. That's strange for someone of noble birth. I'm a commoner, but I was raised with young lords to become their loyal friend and vassal. I've heard that the nobility of the Northern Gate often takes orphans or children from poor families as wards. The common people appreciate it a lot. The point is not to please the commoners. I grew up with Ingvar and Sigismund, but nobody ever let me forget who I was or where I belonged. It was still a great honor and opportunity. The doors of high society were open to you. Right. Otherwise, I would have remained poor for life, like my parents. I helped them out of poverty, but I didn't visit them much. It seemed to suit them since they had many other children. I don't even remember exactly how many. Anyway, why all this talk? To see the future, you have to take a look at the past. Okay. Unknown event, but it's got a crown, and it says that we... Explore the steps. Visit events marked with a crown symbol. Okay. So we have to go this direction first. I really want to visit a merchant. We'd go visit two down this route. So I have to go here. At most I could go this way. And go to this, because I want to see what this is. But that would bypass like most of the mer <laughs> all of the merchants. Okay, I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to go to the merchant. But I want to put this on. You don't give me any cards, you just give me strength, which is great. But I think I'm going to try and go armor focus. Like, if I can get another set piece for this, that would be great.
Let's go. Okay. The ground beneath me collapsed and I fell right into an earthworm's den. Fortunately, the owner was not home. When I got used to the darkness and looked around, I spotted a fresh batch of shiny eggs. I wanted to taste them, but I did not want to meet the mother who was probably close by. <laughs> Tried to crack an egg. Oh, so I have to fight them? Great! <laughs> What's this? They have sensitivity. Decreases when taking damage. On the count of zero, get a worm egg. Okay. Do deceiver. Weaklings. Something is moving inside. It's alive. <laughs> Can I stun them all for that? I can. Okay. Sensitivity's down. Get more gold. Spend gold. And I didn't get anything that I wanted, really. So we'll use golden scales. Yeah, I don't want to lose this much money. It's end turn. That's so much greed. God damn it. Uh, I can't spend all my energy. Oh, that's kind of bullshit. Because it's at zero energy, restore all energy, lose 30 gold, and draw one per energy restored. I don't have zero energy. Oh, that's terrible. Which means they're probably going to hatch, right? Oh. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Gaining armor. Uh, actually, money. 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 Cautious block. Gain five block. Gain five block next turn. Who goes to 10. Crush. Deal 4 damage. When dealing damage, inflict 2 exposed. 4 expo exposed. Great. And then trick. Gain... Oh, then it becomes 3. Gain 5 block. Draw 1. That could be useful. I am really inflating my deck, and it's already going to be inflated because of all the money that I have. I'm skipping. Two-handed sledgehammer. Gain four strength. If an attack deals more than 30 damage, gain one strength. And it gives you attacks that deal more than four, 30 damage. And one that gives exposed, which might deal more than 30 damage. Question mark. Might not, though. Uh, I'm taking it, but I'm probably selling it. A worm egg. Restore 20% health and gain one ward until the end of the game. Wait, what? <laughs> and another one. 
another one. Am I getting three of them? <laughs> I got to learn more about the local fauna. It wasn't a pleasant meeting. <laughs> yeah. The earthworms are the foundation of all life in the Crimson Steppes. Their tunnels provide shelter to the local goblins. Their meat becomes food for the orcs. And who becomes food for the earthworms? Both the goblins and the orcs? Everyone and anyone. Yep. Wait a minute. Okay. I have a lot of stuff to sell and I get more money back for it. I need to go to this vendor. Badly. I had a chance in can I had a chance to cover a difficult part of the way together with a caravan. Avoiding the grueling crossing of the unforgiving desert under the scorching sun. Not for free, obviously. Did the orcs agree to take you with them? The armistice works then. Not as well as I would like, but it works. How much are we paying? Kinda wanna go on foot. Because I wanna keep my money. I lost health. I lost max health. That ain't good. <laughs> oh well, vendor. All the vendors in the world are polite and friendly. Even orc vendors. Trade. There's <laughs> so much to sell. What do we have? Do we have what I want? Wait. Oh, it doesn't show. It's part of the set. Holy shit, what? Those boots are amazing for the set as well. Increase maximum health by 10. Playing three attacks in a row reduces the cost of cards in hand by one until the end of the turn. <laughs> That's kind of good. Taking damage, inflict five bleeding on the attacker if barbed. I mean, yes. I might want to buy all those. Yeah, also, what's this? When drawing a status card, restore 10 health and gain one evasion? Oh, that's so broken for this character. That is insanely broken for this character. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Hi, Vader. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Okay, so I kind of want to replace the boots and the helmet, I think. The helmet was pretty good. But this wouldn't... Oh, wait. 
what do I have that's re I have this oh that's not even part of the set <laughs> so I need both the boots and the helmet so weakness and the armor but I'm getting armor from these yeah Selling the boots. Selling the helmet. Buying the spiked helmet. And we're equipping it. Buying the spiked boots. And equipping it. Doom, 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 doom. Sell. Sell. Oh, wait, no. I just realized I want this. There's nothing else that has the barbed set. I'm going to buy the fox hat because it's insanely broken for this character, if I'm understanding it. I'm going to sell the golden armor. Shield and this. And am I using? I'm using the Marauder's Blade, yeah. I was selling the two handed sledge. If I can get another set piece for this spiked set and I can replace the helmet, that would be amazing. Also, I have 1605 gold. Yeah. Remove all negative effects and burn all status cards. <laughs> Gain 30 block. Yeah, I think I'm good. I might want to visit this other vendor though, especially with all this money. <laughs> the problem is the Can I show what Percival has, yeah, this. At the start of the battle, for every 100 coins, add a greed card to the draw pile. So I'm adding 16 cards to my draw pile just for the gold that I have. Oh look, treasure. Here I am enjoying a lucky find while the owner of the chest is probably dead. Gold. Worm's head. Game three barbed. Okay. Game two strength and one evasion. Backstab. Armor of talent. Increase maximum health by 10 at the start of the battle. Clone three random talent cards. Are you nuts? <laughs> Because talent, that's, this would be insane. I'm putting that on, screw it. This was great because it gives, gives me barbs, but so are these two. Like I get seven. Barbed. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'll go to the unknown event rather than the campfire, I think. A luscious oasis appeared far at the horizon. It looked unreal among the parched earth and dry grass. 
but I knew that such spots can sometimes be found in the Crimson Steps. Go to the Oasis. I lost 14 health. <laughs> Boiling under the merciless sun, I barely made it to the place that promised a paradise, but the Oasis seemed to have disappeared, to have melted in the heat, a mirage. Looking around, I realized that things were bad. There were white bones of various creatures that had died from the scorching heat and thirst. Yep. Yeah. Great. Smashing. Super. I wonder if it's a 50-50 whether it's an actual oasis or a mirage. Anyway, unknown event. An orc with a hammer is a rare sight as an orc is as rare a sight as an orc with a spear. But while spearmen choose their weapon to improve their fencing skills, threshers prefer a heavy hammer simply because they can lift it. It's hard to gain an orc's respect if you're not an orc yourself, but a thresher doesn't respect even other orcs. If you can't lift a warhammer, he has nothing to talk about with you. Fight! But if you come to him with a warhammer, will he respect you? I don't know, probably. I should check that out. Oh, I hopefully will. If I ever come this way again. So you have Bloodlust. Gains one strength when dealing hit point damage. When playing three attacks in a row, ends your turn and gains strength. <laughs> what? Also... Holy crap, this is insane. So it's just three attacks in a row. Adaptation. Adaptation. Deceiver. <laughs> Attack. The power of money. <laughs> oh god, I can get... He's just blocking, so I'm going to put all my talents on. <laughs> Okay, so agility does not affect this armor, I don't think. Now he's going to hit for 17. He also gets 5 armor. Oh, 15 armor. Wait, is his armor not being... Oh no, he blocked, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to like me. Also, I didn't get my usual greed thing. Is it an actual card or does it get added? Okay. Um. Gaining block just for that. And I gained armor for it of this. Upon gaining gold, gain one block per each coin gained, and I get an armor. Which kind of sucks because I have nothing else to play. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Upon gaining gold, it's just any gold, not from attacking. <laughs> Also, I did not notice that he has 400 health. You know what? I think I'm going to burn a few of these. <laughs> my deck is stupid right now. Oh, did he stun me? 
Oh, muddled. Randomize the cost. One to three of all cards in hand. Shit. <laughs> oh well. Adaptation. Still costs the same. I'll do flourish, because it's exposed to. I think I could deal 333 damage right now. And honestly, I might. Uh, actually, no, I can't. I don't have enough energy. So I'll just gain some more blocked armor. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he has it exposed, so... It's three attacks in a row. <laughs> so dumb. I have 17 barbed. Wait, are they giving me barbed? At the start of turn, gain two barbed. Okay. He's going to hit an Enrage timer, I just know it. So 15, 20 bomb, that's just going up and up and up. It's kind of rude. That's why I don't even need to do... Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm slowly dealing damage to him. I think I'm going to have to give up 20% of my gold in order to actually kill him. Yeah, wallet strike. Just going to do 500 damage. Just a casual 500 damage. Um, and it costs zero, so... Do I go for that? Because I am doing decent damage. I don't want to keep all my money though. <laughs> I'm not being greedy. <laughs> And he's dealing damage to himself with those multi-attacks. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna be greedy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be very greedy, as the cards tell me. Doom ba -da -da -da. He has 23 bleed on him, by the way. And I think he's going to kill himself if I don't kill him this turn. Yeah, he's going to attack 20 times 4. That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> he killed himself before he got through my block. Because of the barbed. Uh, random car. I think I'm going to skip. Ooh. Helmet of the Crimson Steps. Oh yeah, we've just seen that. I think. Gain 5 ward and immunity to muddled and hallucination. <laughs> Yay. 
Armor of Vengeance. Increase maximum health by 10 when losing health, gain 1 strength and 5 block. I'm not really losing health. Increase maximum health by 20 and gain 5 bar. What am I using? Oh yeah, clone the random talent cards. Which is kind of stupid. Um... I'm going to take the troll leather. I'm not going to equip it. Riveted Gauntlets. When playing a card that costs two or more, a random card in hand is free until the end of the turn. I'm keeping the Dwarven Grog. That could be so dumb. That just reduces it to 200 coins. Let's do adaptation. Screw it. I'm going to be drawing so many cards. Ooh, Snake Elixir. That's the draw card of your own choice from the draw pile. Taking that. Flash Amulet. Gain one energy at the start of the battle. Inflict three exposed on all enemies. Ooh. I know the Northern Gate was originally built to restrain the orcish hordes of the Crimson Steps. I never would have crossed the Steps voluntarily. Fortunately for you, the humans and the orcs are not at war now. Sigismund has somehow convinced the orcish leaders not to attack the Northern Gate, and is engaged in highly secretive negotiations with them. A war with the elves, a truce with the orcs. The world's gone crazy, hasn't it? Don't get your hopes up. The orcs are unlikely to welcome you with open arms. But at the very least, not all of them will try to kill you. Great. Okay, another merchant. Exactly the same uh, dialogue. Okay. That's the spike one. Gain two barbed. It's one handed as well. I would lose my pickpocket and the receive an extra item as a reward. We get the chest piece, gain three barbed. Hmm. Increases combat healing by one, and we're in an ad break, so I'm going to wait. Probably buying this. Knowing not to get the set bonus that I really want. <laughs> also, I have so much money. Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous for this character because greed's are status cards. Yeah, that's going to be so stupid. I think I know what I'm going to do. It's going to cost me some money. But 
yeah, this is so, so very dumb. Okay, so what I'm going to do is sell the troll leather armor, sell the poisonous armor, I'm, I don't think I'm going to sell this just yet, but we're going to buy the spiked armor. And I'm going to buy the spiked club. So I'm going to give up my pickpocket, unfortunately. Potentially. Basically, I'm going to replace this helm. Maybe. I might try it without. Oh, no, wait, it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to replace this helm with the fox hat. I don't need the fourth set item bonus. The fifth set item bonus is insanity. Didn't I have something that was giving me uh, armor? This swarm? Maybe not. But anyway, that's everything. I still have 1800 gold. So let's put this on, let's put that on, and then let's put this on and... <laughs> the power of fur, I might have just become unkillable. Oh, right, at the start of the battle, gain one armor per 100 gold. If I got the five set piece bonus, holy crap, that's so much barbed. Oh, and the campsite now. I caught a cold and brewed willow bark tea to bring down the fever. Restore health, we're gonna train. Because I'm at full health anyway. There's not much I can upgrade, so I'm gonna do exterminate, which deals three times the damage instead of two times in total. And then I don't like this. This is either like a snake a, an earthworm or an armadillo with a poison spike <laughs> for a tail. Ox decided to have a little fun and set a giant desert armadillo on me. That is orcish hospitality for you. Of course, they said they just wanted to test my strength and they would be rooting for me. They even wished me good luck in the battle, but it did not make it any easier. So it is an armadillo. <laughs> Sigismund considers the orcs to be his allies. Unfortunately, it is not mutual. These spawns have always despised people, and it is mutual. He looked more intimidating in the previous one. Marshal Armadillo. <laughs> what the fuck? 
What is this shit? Adaptation. Mm. <laughs> Power of gold is useless. You're gonna hit me for 22 right now, and then there's nothing I can do about it. Because of all these goddamn greed cards. A breather never hurt anybody. The funny thing is, you're gonna hit me. Oh no, you're not. I have evasion. <laughs> yeah, you're never gonna hit me because of this damn hat. Because I gain evasion when I draw a status card. And I have like 18 greed cards. Hmm. Heal his strength. Get golden scales up. And I can't do anything else, really. Do, 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 do. Deceiver? Yeah. Hell yes. Okay, flourish. What are you doing? Gaining strength. Fair enough. In such a situation, I'd recommend an elixir of purification. I mean, it literally cannot hit me. I have 17 evasion. got barbed now and taking hit point damage the number of barbs is reduced gains barbed and block block is not lost at the start of the turn reduces damage taken by two times and gains armor at the start of each turn yay Does this deal damage to me? It does. <laughs> Watch my health. Even without the bomb. <laughs> Yeah, this is so very dumb, and I love it. I am all for this. I have 32 evasion right now. <laughs> I also have adaptation, so whenever I draw a curse or status card, I draw two extra cards. Which I think compounds on itself as well. He was doing 47 damage times three, which will do pretty much nothing. Ooh, poison goes through it though. That's a thing. Poison goes through block. That's good to know. What do we have? When taking hit point damage inflicts poison. Yeah, that could become a problem. Ow. If I get that to 98 poison, I die. <laughs> Hmm. 
Luckily, he's bleeding. <laughs> and I'll just heal it up. <laughs> Look at all these. <laughs> 28. I'm still good. I could just kill it straight up. But I want to keep my money. Strength alone is not enough to win. Yeah, that's why I have 54 evasion, my dude. <laughs> head to head. He died on his own. Okay. Not your fault. Hang on. What were those achievements? Uh, head to head. Kill Marshall Armadillo, which is spelt differently to what it was when he's not in a defensive stance. Defeat the Armadillo Marshall. <laughs> it's spelt differently all the time. Bestiary. Okay. Take my money. I now have 2,000 gold. Every time block is gained from cards, deal 4 damage to a random enemy. Okay. Playing lunges increases damage. Oh, yeah, we had this before. Double time. At the start of turn, gain 1 energy. Hell yes! Champion Sword, we've seen before. Warrior's Amulet. Gain one energy, gain five strength. Okay, Amulet of Resistance. Gain one energy, gain five armor. Right now I gain one energy, but then if I kill something, I gain one energy and draw a card for the rest of the fight. So I, I kind of don't want any of these. I guess I'd take the damage one. Protection, that's just 30 block. Take the elixir of tired, tirelessness. Armadillo shell. The dwarven grog, I really wanted to get the set bonuses. The start of battle, gain one arm up of 100 gold. That would be 20 armor. And then this, when taking damage without losing health, deal one damage to the attack of two block. This one is insane. Gain five strength until the end of the game. Not combat. What do you do? Gain 12 armor. I think I still keep the Dwarven Grog for the better sale prices. <laughs> Besides, this can be get so much better if I get another set piece. So I'm keeping the Dwarven Grog. And I'm going to upgrade the card that we just got, because that's stupid. Granted, it doesn't do much to me. Damn the Crimson Steps. The Orcs, the Goblins, and all the other murderous fiends. I am not going to miss you. All around me is desolation, destruction, and death. That's what my homeland met me with. Is that all you can say? Oh, right. Also with looters, madmen, fanatics, and mysterious demonic freaks. Sigismund's reign has been disastrous for the Northern Gate. It seems that he's made not a very caring ruler. Do you think so? I can't believe this. Is he really that foolish to offhandedly destroy everything his older brother had been creating for decades? Oh no, he shouldn't be considered a fool. Truth be told, he's much worse than that. He's a moron! <laughs> So I need to go to this because it has a crown. Oh, and this one. Okay, that's the first one that's had two. Can I even get to it? Yes, I can. Oh, 
I wish I could get to that merchant. So I'm going to go here, 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 loot, here, this merchant, then here. Okay. Gain one energy at the start of the battle, inflict three exposed on all enemies. This is pretty good. We replace this though. This is so good for like summons <laughs> or fighting summons. I think I'm going to change it for the flash amulet for now though. Okay. Oh, another potion. I was called out by a vigorous old man in a dark cloak, grey with road dust. He introduced himself as a travelling merchant and said that he sold unique elixirs of incredible power. Naturally, the prices were of an incredible level, too. When he told me the prices, I unwillingly took a closer look at the trader. He seemed rather defenceless to me. Invincibility elixir? <laughs> Rub the old man. Or I could buy them. Invincibility elixir. Could you make invincibility elixir? I haven't heard of such a thing. I doubt it even exists. But there are many other ways to become invincible if you'd like to know. And if you do like to know, you'll pay for this information. Yeah, I'll pay it. Are you familiar with the court blacksmith of the Northern Gate? He lives in the castle and forges excellent armour. He can make invincibility armour, but he'll need an energy core of a dwarven golem. I already knew this. I heard that dwarves devastated the heathlands, drove humans out, and to prevent them from returning, placed guardian golems on all the trails. You kill such a golem, you get its core. Although, to kill a golem, you'll need invincibility in the first place. <laughs> Learn about other ways, another 300 gold. He's probably just going to tell me about the Ica. You know that there are still humans living in the Rotten Bog. Under different circumstances, I wouldn't advise you not to get involved with them. They can be friendly, yes, but if you want to leave the swamps, they won't let you go. These people take a ritual drink with a strange name, the Might Ica. Don't even ask me why it's called that. Damn it. Uh, I don't know myself, but I do know it has miraculous properties. Yeah, we already drunk it. Will it make me invincible? You should already know! Actually, no, it won't. But if you die, the Ica power will bring you back to life. Is it? Like becoming a zombie? Kind of. You don't like that? Then choose some other way. Learn about other ways? Ah. Sure. If you want to escape death, then turn to the forces of death. But you must understand that the payment for their services will be equivalent. Instead of your death, they'll demand the death of your friend or ally. Finding the death idol is not easy. But luckily for you, during my travels, I visited all idols except the goblin idol. I'll show you on a map where the death idol is. It's in the southern rotten bog. Don't forget that you must come to the idol not alone. Bring a companion whom you will sacrifice to the idol. This is terrible. Yes, it is, I know. You need an ethical way to become invincible? Then choose some other way. Oh god, you can find another? <laughs> I'm losing all my money! Um, Yo. Yeah. Not long ago, I met a merchant who was selling resurrection armor, but at such a high price, no one was buying it. So the merchant hired a caravan and headed to the Crimson Steps. He told me that the orcs were not going to spare gold for such armour. Find the caravan in the Crimson Steps. 
This is the only lead that could possibly... Ah! This is the only lead that could possibly take you to the resurrection armor. I already went the caravan but walked it. What if it doesn't take me anywhere? What if he has already sold the armor? Then he'll tell you who he's sold it to. What if he already left the caravan? The caravan driver should know where he went. Too many ifs. This information isn't worth the money. Buy some potions or rob the old man. I'm gonna rob him and probably regret it. So you wanted to hurt a weakling. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna poison me. Okay. You've acquired a taste for buffs. Mm -hmm. Uh <sighs> He's gonna manage to poison me once. This won't do anything because I'm not at zero energy. Which kinda sucks. He also has 20 armor. Oh, we have evasion. Never mind. <laughs> Golden scales. Lunge. The power of gold. Oh. What's he going to do? For one turn, lose one energy, draw two less cards. I mean, you want to try that. He's not exposed, unfortunately. Wait, he is exposed because of the start of fight thing. Ah! Didn't play the sounds. This is wrecking his armor. Okay. Double time! And then I can't really do anything, so... End turn. It'd be funny if I got all my money back. Oh, he fully healed! The bastard! What's this? Damage depends on the value of the counter. If the counter is greater than 10, gets stunned and changes intention. Intoxication. Interesting. Increases intoxication. Okay. I currently can't do much. I have seven evasion though. The bleed goes through block, which is nice. And he stunned himself. But he's getting two strength at the end of each turn. Hello, Deceiver, Adaptation, Flourish. I have six energy, by the way. I'm never, I'm never spending all of this. Oh, he's detoxing. He's removing all effects. That's bullshit. You know what? Skip your mm -hmm. turn. Cost me 300 gold, but... I don't care. He's gonna detox again. And I don't have expose on him this time. I wonder if it detoxes his buffs as well.
Oh, it does. Oh, we gotta exterminate for free. <laughs> I think he is just dead. That's 36. And that's how he died. 131 gold. Super strength elixir. Gain 30 strength for three attacks. I'm taking it, I'm probably not using it. Super elixir of recovery. Recover 100% health. Super elixir of energy. Gain three energy, draw three. Okay. And the other. <laughs> Travelling merchant has told everything he knows. <laughs> I lost so much money out of this. Oh, I approached an unfamiliar idol at the foot of which a boy was kneeling. Curiosity prompted me to approach the child. The boy's words made me uneasy. He prayed for the ink inquilines to take his soul and possess his body. Destroy the idol. For the sake of the child who doesn't know what he's doing, the unholy idol had to be destroyed immediately. <laughs> okay. A creepy inquiline generated by someone's misfortune. Immune to targeted attacks, son of a bitch. Sarah appears on the battlefield. If it is killed, the demon skips one turn. Upon burning a card, deals 50 damage to the Sarah. Wait, what? Steals maximum health? No. some enemy or have I missed something 20 gold to kill them outright I'll take it hmm. and he's stunned also 15 bomb kind of sucks Gains shadows effect. Okay, you're going stealth or something? Because hmm. that would kind of suck. Where did this one come from? Exactly. Oh, and it's got double the health. Okay. Oh, immune to targeted attacks. That's kind of different. Oh, God. Then spend gold to just kill them. Uh... I'm going to do Deceiver. You really want to do Double Time and Golden Scales? Let's do Double Time first. And then Lunge. A flourish. Golden scales. Guard. Lunge. Guard. Bar of gold. Exterminate. Because you are exposed, so that's great. Lunge. 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 
god. Hmm. That's so much damage that I just dealt you. I basically got like six out of twelve energy. Hundred and fifty? Hundred and fifty. The probability of taking damage is extremely low. Greed. 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 That just kills you straight up. God, God, God. Can't do anything else. Still have exposed on you, which is awesome. Nice. Exterminate for zero cost. 157 gold, I think. Oh god. Gain one strength, one agility, and draw two. Dance of Death, deal four damage two times, increase agility by one. I think I'm going to take Ultimatum, because it's free to use and it draws one. Armor of Invincibility. Immune for the first four turns, block cannot be gained. That's immune though, and she went through it. At the start of the turn, lose one strength and gain one agility. So that's the opposite of the other hat. Provoker's mask do not like. At the start of the turn, gain two strength, all enemies gain one. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Guess we take the armor of invincibility. Uh, take the snake elixir. Blue fire. Gain two energy. Taking damage adds a slowdown card to the draw pile. Lose one energy when draw. No. I'm going to keep the Dwarven Grog. And I'm going to upgrade this ultimatum that we just got. And then we're going to loot. I came, I saw, I took. I don't remember who said that. Me. More money. Ah. <gasps> Axe of Thundering Mountain. <laughs> we finally got it. Troll Helmet's probably bomb, yeah. Sadist Boots, when inflicting exposed, inflict one weakness on a random enemy. That's pretty good, but I'm taking the axe. I decided to return home immediately and reveal to everyone who was guilty of murdering Ingvar. Well, that's a good place to start. And then what? I was sure that the people would believe me. Sigismund would be condemned and executed, and I... I would be avenged and glorified. Alas, your plans were destined to fail. But it's a little matter. The most important thing is that my plan is going to work. <laughs> yeah, because you've got multiple attempts at it, you ass. So we're losing the three set. At the end of the turn, deal your barbed as damage to all enemies. That's okay. Because now, at the start of the battle, gain one armor per 100 gold, which currently is only eight, but it's still a lot of armor. If they manage to get through the evasion from this bullshit, I don't think this is going to do anything. I'm going to have to wear it for the final battle just to see. Uh, wait, this was a crown event before. At the entrance to the palace, I was greeted by the gatekeeper. Looking little like a man, I was startled to hear a human voice. 
In true demonic form, he demanded 500 coins to buy my way in. Little did he care for his service to his master. Sometimes demons and man are not so different. Yeah, I'm gonna attack him. You didn't have enough money? You could have haggled. No. Oh, he has barbed. Okay. Well, we'll drain his strength, I guess, like usual. And we can't really do anything but lunge. It's funny, because I'm also barbed. Hello. Now I'm evading. Ooh, deceiver, double time. Exterminate. Actually, am I going to take damage from that? Yes, I am. But I think that's worth it. I could do the power of gold. Golden scales, yes. Ultimatum, yes. Draw two. God. Because this is giving me armor, because I'm getting money. He's also doing 45 damage, although he's never going to hit. Hmm. And his bleed's going to be insane. <laughs> 19 bleed. Good luck, my dude. You're gonna need it. Where did I get knife trick from? Or is it from the axe? When dealing damage against block, gain one armor. Okay. Let's guard first. Flourish. <laughs> I'm gaining armor. Knife trick, I have no idea where I got this from. Well, that's 60 damage, but he's not going to hit me because of evasion. <laughs> I think my barb still takes effect. No, it doesn't. Not if it's evasion. If it's block, it does. Although I think he still got the bleeding from it. <laughs> Adaptation. Yard. Armor never hurts. Exterminate. Lunge. He's still never gonna hit me. And then I'll just heal to full, because of all the greeds. God. God. Flourish. Oh, he's actually dead. I really don't need to do anything. Because the bleed should kill him. At the start of turn, lose one health. You know what? I'm just going to end turn. Watch you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Money. Gain one exposed and two armor. No. Mighty blow. Deal 14 damage. Strength affects this card three times. Five. Okay. That is a mighty blow. You know what? Let's take it. All the demonic stuff that I literally do not care about. Mm. 
Is he like at the beginning of the turn gain either either gain one energy or lose one energy? It's like no, thank you. It's like upon dealing damage, gain one armor and one exposed. Like no, these are all terrible. You <laughs> don't even know if. Wait, was there a merchant to sell? There was, and I do need to go to it. Oh well. Uh, Elven Ale, two evasion, which is I return a burned card of your choice to hand. That could be funny. So let's take it. Merchant. The northern gate is located on an important trade route. Streams of goods from the north and south converge there. You can buy whatever your heart wishes. So we got the fire, but there's a fire stuff which I don't care about. I guess I'll sell you. Wait. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why aren't I using this club? Okay, I guess I just sell stuff now. I have Flash, which kind of want all the exposed stuff. Like, this is amazing, but at the same time, eh. So now we have 1,800 gold. Well, the annoying thing is I'm going to have to replace this, but then I'll lose the set bonus. Okay. Uh, left or right? Uh, let's just keep going close. Ooh. The royal forge wasn't empty. Demonic blacksmith had settled in it. I was taken aback when I recognised him as the old court blacksmith, although there was little left of his old look. However, he seemed happy to meet me and even offered me his services. I can reforge equipment, craft something special. The blacksmith can make something special for me if I bring him a legendary item. To forge something special, materials must be special too. Take, for example, a golem core. I can craft you armor from it like nothing I've forged before. In that armor, you'll be completely invincible. But not forever. Only until the core is discharged. Reforge equipment? <laughs> Reforge that. Um. I've already selected it. You really want to give this out? Yes. He <laughs> turned a healing potion into a robber's armor, boots of thundering mount. Oh, the boots are robber's boots. It's the robber's stuff. When you gain gold during a battle, draw a card. For every three cards played, gain one strength. When visiting a vendor, gain 500 gold and three random potions. 
At the start of the turn, reset the cost of cards in hand to zero before use. I'm sorry, what now? What was the effect anyway? Increase maximum health by 15, gain one evasion. Jab cards inflict one poison, okay. Gain one strength upon losing armor. Spiked boots. Okay. I don't really want any of these right now. It's fine. The demonic blacksmith in the northern gate can make the armor of invincibility from the golem's energy card. The golem is located in the heathlands on the path near the tomb. But I already have the arm. <laughs> I finally found a suitable place to camp and managed to repair my worn out shoes. That's why it's so important to pack a, as much spare footwear as possible when you go on a long journey. Well, shit, you started with no f shoes. Brain. Mighty blow? Turns into five times strength. Yeah, sure. My journey came to an end, but I had never found a way to counter Milenis. So, what did you decide to do? Continue the campaign. Uh, I'm going to put this on. I don't think it's actually going to work. I'm now losing the set bonus, so unless I l lose the fox hat, which is insanely good for this build, I'm not going to inflict bleeding. Which I'm kind of okay with, I think. Gain 5 armor and barbed. Gain 1 strength upon losing armor. I think I'm going to go like that. Continue campaign. I decided to practice killing Sigismund. That won't hurt. Let's go kill the king. Uh... Yeah. Let's kill. Reliable protection. Oh, you warded it. Damn you. You're dealing zero? <laughs> okay. Um. Not that I need to block. It doesn't do anything. I mostly did it for the money. <laughs> Knife trick. Wallet strike, I could just really hurt you. We're gonna skip. Did you decide to have a rest? We're immune right now. Although, oh, what can't be gained? Yes, yeah, so that's why they're dealing zero. Drain strength. Thanks, my dude. Gain money. I'm drawing all the terrible cards. I am gaining evasion though, so that's fun. Ultimatum. Double time. <laughs> no cards. Oh, they managed to inflict me with blind rage. But I have six energy, so that's all good. Adaptation. 
Money. Tack. Going so many greed cards right now because I have 18 of them in the deck. <laughs> Deal 69 damage. Nice. Although, flourish. Oh, it's not going to take effect though because you have ward. That kind of sucks. But shattered. Have all block and heal gained from skills. Oof. All enemies gain... Jesus. You're dealing 27 times 3, but I have 16 evasion. Oh, this was... When there's no block, kills an ally gaining health and strength. That's gonna be a lot of strength. But it also means dealing 200 damage to deal 720. Screw it. You failed. You're gaining 1735 health. Uh, maybe the mistake by me. I don't want Shattered. You can gain one strength. I'm kind of okay with that. You're off the hook. Crap, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> that's totally different from before. Tremble, inflicts muddled. Great. Golden scales. Oh, I need to do that. Deceiver. Lunge. And then that's it. This thing has 29 strength, by the way. And barbed. 44 times 3, but I have 27 evasion, so it's all good. Oh, you're not exposed. It's still... Oh, it's damage. Uh, you would make all my guards three cost. Wait. Oh. I thought it was only during the immunity. That sucks. So now my build is useless, except for, you know, the evasion. Um, I guess we just go damage. Wait, did I get an extra turn? Oh no, I drew one card. That five turns worth of muddled is dumb. Um, and I drew everything that I didn't need. Yes, this just gets me money. You kept standing on your feet after suffering such wounds. What wounds? 
How many oh. more are there? What is this? All damage, all received damage is reduced to one. Vessel of Deception takes all unplayed cards. If destroyed, the cards return to the draw pile. Oh. Okay. Oh, it just... Oh, that's rude. Especially while muddled. You say you better not block with that. All my cards, man. Ah, that's very good. Boss can't hit me. <laughs> oh, you're exp okay, man. Everything returns back to me. Exterminate. Oh, you're stunned. Nice. Oh, now there's an outbreak. But I need to pee, so I will be right back. Boop. And boop. We also got some crisps. Yes. They're delicious. <laughs> and 
I also realized I almost just killed myself on the barbs that this guy has. Hopefully I'll heal it up. And I gain the evasion. <laughs> Back to full. Except I can't do a damn thing this turn. Unless I just throw my money at him. Oh, I just realised it was all the cards that that thing stole, so it would be all the greed cards. I have 59 evasion right now. So this is going to take a very long time. <laughs> I just healed it up because I drew greed cards. Hmm. More money. Oh, again. Hmm? I'm going to do... Uh, no, there's no point doing wallet strike right now. I'm sorry I can't kill him quicker. <laughs> This is just to get me money, it's not getting me any armor. My, my, a uh, block, my armor is useless right now. Because of the armor that I'm wearing. That hasn't had a use since turn one, two, three, and four. How did it all end? Hmm. Nice. Power of gold, which heals me and gives me 86 evasion stuff. Hmm. Well, nearly 600 damage. Sure. This is what I call skill in its purest form. 
Is it? Is it really? I respectfully disagree. We're on round 22, by the way. I'm about to hit a hundred evasion. Yep. What's this? At the start of the turn, gains armor. <laughs> yes, he's getting stronger because I can't finish him off. Ten armor, okay. Why do you need so much? Four hundred and eighty. Hmm. I will only just survive this, but it will kill him. Conquering a lie, defeat the source of lies embodied in Sigismund's guise. No need to rush. Kill Sigismund after he consumes the Guardian of Hate. I just waited for you. I can't say that I knew you'd show up. Rather, I had no idea what to do next. I guess I didn't even care. So this is the end of the story. Or maybe not. I hate killing this fool. I hope I won't have to anymore. He's caused a lot of trouble, and we need to do our best if we want to fix everything. You killed him Elf twice. We'll hold back the onslaught against the frontier, and it'll be easier for us to urge the parties to negotiate. The Northern Gate will once again become the guarantor of peace among peoples. Okay. Thanks to the growth elixir, goblins will be able to assert their right to life and won't let orcs grow too strong. We won't have to deal with this problem. What? I have no idea what this is. When you killed Sigismund, you saved the Fire Brotherhood and they won't forget it. You will unite the people disgruntled with the rule of the Inquilines with the Fire Army. And together, you'll put an end to the demon domination. Hey, I didn't murder them all this time. Are you ready to face Melenis again? Sooner or later, you'll kill her. And then no one will stand in our way. Hey, they changed it. You have a chance to shape the future, but you cling to the past which can't be brought back. Ingvar is dead. The Northern Gate has changed. The whole world is changing before your eyes. Right, let's see if this armor does anything. Also, I hope I heal <laughs> a little bit.
Bring three cards of the same type in a row burns a random card in your hand. Yeah, that sucks that it literally burns one. Mortis is just using you, dimwit. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's do this. I'm hoping to get, like, talent card stuff. Why do you think you're on the right side? doesn't matter though, I have to kill you anyway. So let's see if this armor actually works. Because if it's just immunity, it's probably not going to work. Hmm. There's no immunity against my touch. Yeah, so it's the Ica that we need. An empty throne could become a problem for me. The alliance with the Might Cult won't happen. The fragile truce with the Orcs will crumble, so it won't matter at all who wins the final battle for the frontier. You have actually accomplished something, Mortis, but your plans aren't destined to come to fruition either. You wouldn't want to agree to a draw, would you? So it takes about three hours to do a run. Nice, we got level three, which means we unlocked Knight, I think, because then Veteran's the last one. Roguish Lunge. Deal five damage. Upon dealing hit point damage, gain five gold. Okay. What do you upgrade to? Ten and fifteen gold. Ho ho ho. Okay. Resistance. It's ethereal, so you have to play it, otherwise it burns at the end of your turn. Gain 7 block. Move a random status card from the draw pile to the discard pile. Move all status cards. Okay. They call. Fair deal. Increase the number of cards drawn by 2. Lose 20 gold. Lose 40 gold to increase it to 3. Okay, and it's, it costs 3 energy. Penetrating Lunge. Deals 5 piercing damage 2 times. Okay. New class. Knight. Take. Don't look at me like that. I'm shocked myself. So, how do I defeat her? You can't defend yourself from Milenis' deadly touch, nor can you dodge it. You'll have to defeat death itself, so the Ica. How do I do that? I don't mind that, but how do I do it? Either become a completely invincible, or come back to life after she kills you. Let's think what options we have. With the blacksmiths, the armor of invincibility, which does not work. Well, actually, no. We need to get the core to see if he will then do it and make something different. Moves and steps. Does mean there's not one there? Acre. The power of the Might Ica will bring you back to life, but only once. Try not to die before meeting Melenis, yes. Change class. The Knight. If health is greater than 80%, gain 2 strength, 2 agility, 1 energy. Cards return to the draw pile without shuffling. At the start of the turn, if there are no two attacks or two skills in hand in a row, 
gain two energy and ten health. So you literally have to alternate. Also, this is a lot of stuff. Gain one more energy. But each element in the set. Okay. So you literally need to keep your health above 80% always. Interesting. Okay. Thing is, I'm gonna have to start a run, but then not be able to finish it <laughs> until tomorrow. But let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Continue on your way as a knight. I really, really like this game. Ooh. Ah, oh, you've turned into the whale. <laughs> oh, classic Matthew. Last time you got far and sore enough to prepare yourself properly. Replace all cards with random cards. Mm, choose one from the three legendary cards. Choose one potion out of the three offered. Gain five strength and five agility in the first three battles. Okay. Legendary card, please. Overdrive, Adrenaline Rush, or Accumulated Force. Overdrive is pretty good. Wait, what? Swap the discard pile for the draw pile? Okay. I might just take the Accumulated Force. Because it's just extra damage. But then again, double current strength and upgrading it. I'm going to take overdrive. How could I have been so wrong about Sigismund? It's haunting me. I remember him as good-natured and amiable, not haughty or overproud. As a simple and honest man, was it just a mask behind which a monster was hiding? People shouldn't be perceived as constant and unchanging. I allow that he was once exactly how you describe him, but no one is perfect. Everyone's got their small vices and weaknesses. Most likely, Sigismund suffered from an unspoken envy of his older brother. Maybe he was somewhat displeased with his rule and thought that he could do better. The thought that he was destined to remain in Ingvar's shadow and never assume the throne of the Northern Gate had been gnawing at his soul for decades. In any case, now he's a madman possessed by demons. There's nothing left in him of the man you thought of as your friend. Right. Is there any star, uh, crowned ones? Literally only these are crowned. And I have so many unknown events to go through still. Because we went this way last time. So that's a shrine, I think. Wait. Unknown event. 
Oh, is this the golem? Do you have to fight them at the very start? Let's try. This is gonna be dumb. Here's the golem. To get to the heathlands, you need to go over a pass, but there's a golem on the trail. The dwarves set it up so that the bandits couldn't return home. Say the password. What? Will you actually let me through if I say the password? Communication not permitted. Say the password. Oh well, alright. Then I'd better be going. No option to leave. Combat mode initiated. That's what I thought. Did you feel like dying at the very beginning of your journey? <laughs> yeah. I had to try it. I just noticed it. This is going to be fun. Intruder. Destroy. What is this? Integrity of the core shell. Reduced by one upon receiving health damage. When reset, it changes to the core. 152 times 2? I'm dead. <laughs> I am just straight up dead. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I guess you have to get the password. Um <laughs> dead. Everything worked out this time. Did it? Are you sure about that? Five minutes. Continue on your way. Do I get the whale start though? Or is it only if you beat I didn't want to trudge through the fetid swamps, but there was nothing attractive about going through the territory of the orcs either. I couldn't decide which way would take me to the northern gate more easily. There are certain rumors about the Rotten Bog, although they can be neither confirmed nor denied, as it's not known whether anyone has ever returned alive. Hey, Alf. <laughs> the earthworms of the Crimson Steps are gigantic, carnivorous beasts, and the orcs who hunt the worms are no less dangerous than them. Did you say more easily? Okay, so I... <laughs> By exploring the world, you need to find a way to kill the golem in order to obtain the energy core for the armor of invisibility, which does not work. Okay, I'm going to go this way, though. There's a merchant straight away, but I think that's a waste. And they all start trickling downwards. Which I've already been to some of them. Which can I get the most out of? Oh, and that way, one, two, three. Oh, have they, they changed as well. Okay, let's do that. Let's go this way into this. I do get a campfire straight away, which would have been perfect for some for the card that I got before, the legendary. You have evasion. Deal eight damage, cast one call to arms on allies. Oh interesting. You're gonna gain strength and evasion. So we're gonna stab, stab, stab. A breather never hurt anybody. 
And then you're gonna hit me like a trick. I'm gonna block, and I'm gonna block, and I'm gonna double brew, because it'll take your evasion off. Oh, I have four energy, I'm stupid. I'm used to only having three. Well, stab, 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 block. I could have killed him this turn. If you spare a doomed enemy, they can become your ally. Oh, it stays in hand. Get a load of this guy, nothing but whiffs. The enemy surrendered. <laughs> and it's just gone. <laughs> it's like... <gasps> uh, gain four strength for one attack. Oh, right. The character is exposed. The effect is doubled. Okay. Deal four damage. Gain one strength. Oh, and then it's not burnt. You know what? I'll take it. And then... End of the fight. We didn't get an ally. Is easier to catch. Oh, summon an ally spared by Percival. Hmm. Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's so cool. Attack, attack, block. Arrgh. Arrgh. No, you're dead. Allies gain half as much. Oh! Well, it's just dead, but. I don't want to do this. Yeah, it goes up. That's awesome. It doesn't understand. Okay. I guess you can't. Spare beasts. Maneuver. Yeah. The te the font is so funny because it looks like a U and a U, but it's a U and a V. Uh, gain one energy, gain two energy, free. Oh, headers are actually pretty good. I'll take that. Boom, ba da -do. I have two unknown events. I'm going to go for this one and then try the merchant. Hey. Hey. I ran into an elven ambush and was captured. Fortunately, they wanted to question me before exterminating me. With a bag on my head and hope in my heart, I waited for the interrogation. Try to escape. <laughs> Cushion. Okay, at the end of the turn, game muddled. Great. I tried to get away, but the elves calmed me down with a blow to the head. When I came to my senses, the bag had already been removed from my head. Their commander interrogated me and I told him everything. When the elves found out that I'd been Ingvar's bodyguard, their attitude immediately changed. They even offered me food and shelter, but I hurried to say goodbye to them. 
You never know what will come into the heads of these crazy elves. One blow to the head was enough for me to stay away from them. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, not all elves attack me. Many of them still treat the humans warmly, because in fact we have never wronged them. The elves respect the memory of Ingvar and remember what they owe him. They understand that the real sower of discord is Sigismund and all those who sided with him. But now, there's no general consensus on the humans among the elves. Okay. Well, we're going to go to this merchant. Trade doesn't stop. No, it does not. And I can't afford anything. Increase maximum health by 10 upon taking health damage, gain 5 block and 2 armor. I think I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to remove a card. Concussion. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. Um, ba -da -da. Unknown event. Sneaking my way through an elven outpost, I noticed a sentry sleeping on duty. It was a good opportunity to slip by unnoticed, but I was struck by a better idea. Who are you now? Wake him up. Gently. You could have just went on by, but once again you jumped straight into trouble. This time luck smiled upon me. I carefully extracted a sword from that pathetic excuse for a guard and quietly withdrew. Yeah, he's just sleeping. She's gonna go all the slaps. And I stole Sting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And I'll equip it. What did this give? Just double blow. This gives double blow and piercing strike, which is pretty damn good. 20 damage for one energy? And it inflicts three breach? Like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Sleeping on the job. Loot! Here I am enjoying a lucky find when the owner of the chest is probably dead. Find his keepers. Gold! Oh, Berserk Axe. That's the 20 damage which I loved. Boots of Weakness I also like. But I also like the Worm's Head. I think I'm going to take the boots. And equip them. Do 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 do. <laughs> By accident. Oh god, it actually killed <laughs> Jesus. By accident, I interrupted an elven the sharpshooter's trading session. My sudden appearance distracted him and he missed the bullseye. The miss hit seemed to frustrate him. To prove his skill, he decided to use me as his target. And this time, he was not going to miss. to miss hit off the mark. <laughs> He didn't say anything about friend. Come on. Uh, I have nothing in the discard. Oh, he's taunting, right? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Inscription eight dollars. Buy it. I already have it. I've already played it on the screen. I think it's great.
Oh, evasion, you bastard. Who are they attacking? You're attacking him, okay. Let's block some of that damage. Get a load of this guy, nothing but whiffs. Oh, did you attack him at the bar? Oh, you had evasion, I forgot that as well. Um, that just kills you. Take off your evasion. Piercing strike. Are you attacking me? How rude. I'll take eight of that damage then. Do do do. What do you upgrade? Oh, the cost. Do do do. I need to get them to like 19 health. Freeze. No. I'd rather die. Okay. <laughs> Upon taking health damage, gain one strength. Our oh, adaptation again. But we don't have all the curse and status cards like before. I might take grudge. Yeah, I might take grudge because it reduces the cost and it improves the effect. Knight's Sword. I kind of have to take it. It's his stuff. Even though the Armor of Vengeance is great. Practice target. Training now improves two cards. Hell yes. Because there's a camp here. <laughs> I won't miss. I hate that they get evasion. <laughs> I really do. You didn't fight fair. That's good. <laughs> you didn't fight fair. That's good. I mean, it's a 3v2. I don't want to fight for her. We gained evasion, you bastard. You're gaining strength, okay. Wait, I have six out of four energy? What now? I kind of want to take the damage. Because of this. Hmm. 
Tum, 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 tum. Okay. That will just kill. Oh, he's going to surrender. A breather never hurt anybody. He's gone. <laughs> Harry, if the enemy intends to attack, gain six block and inflict one weakness. Okay. Kidney blow, deal 12 damage if the enemy is exposed. Yeah, I liked this one. Could also get finishing move. Problem is, enemies counter this relatively easily by forcing me to alternate. Oh, that's a point. I keep forgetting that I need to alternate his attack and skill. Assault shield. There is no block at the end of the turn. Gain 10 block. Double axe. Jagged axe. I'm going to take the Assault Shield, I think. And equip. Elven Ale. Gain 2 Evasion. Take. Then we'll go here. I'll give all my money for a night in a tavern. Train with the target. So now we get to upgrade 2. I want to upgrade Notch. Because it gets rid of the burn. And this gives me strength. <laughs> what do you upgrade to? Swap? Oh, you just get rid of the burn too. Okay, we'll upgrade Grudge because that's really good. And I want to test this as well because I have to get ready for work. So... We're going to return to the main menu, save, yes. Continue, I just want to double check. Wait, it remembers it all and gives me the event log open. I like that, yes. So, thank you all for being here, I appreciate it. Thank you for the raid earlier from Steftacular. I hope you're having a wonderful sleep. Uh, we're gonna go and raid Cat's Lock. They were in here earlier and yesterday. We know them from Jackie's. Let's go and raid them. They're currently playing Lies of P. But yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of the day and I hope to see you tomorrow for more of this. Knock on the coffin lid. I'm really enjoying it. I want to find out what all of the question marks are. I want to find the password for the golem. I want to do everything. I want to unlock more classes. But for now, I have to go to work. Bye.